Hey you, yeah you who clicked on this video, thanks for giving our channel a shot. And if you will, please do us the honor of watching the video all the way through. Appreciate it. Now on to the video. Hello fellow 8-Bit Heroes. Today we are going to be talking about some changes to the channel, uh, some format changes, some things that are I think a lot of you will really appreciate. Uh, in particular, we will be uh, expanding our output, so we're going to be putting out more videos uh, per week now. Um, and we know that in the comment section, you guys have been asking for more recommendations as far as anime, movies, television, video games, and things like that. And we're going to accommodate that. We're actually going to be, in addition to our uh, top five non-woke list, we're actually going to be uh, adding non-woke anime, non-woke games, non-woke uh, TV series and non-woke uh, videos and movies uh, to our roster of content. So basically, we, uh, each week we'll be putting out one of those things uh, per day. So we'll have a recommendation for you. So I think this will really be really cool for you guys. That way you won't run out of things that will keep you distracted from this hellscape that we call a reality currently. So without further ado, we're going to introduce the first of this series, and that is going to be a anime from Netflix of all places, or at least produced by Netflix. And it is called TP Bond or Time Patrol Bond. Now, what makes this particular series interesting is the fact that it is actually based on an anime from the 70s. This uh, anime ran from 1978 to 1986. Uh, in Shonen World and Monthly Comic Tom, and um, is originally called, uh, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to try anyway, Taimu uh, Paturu Ban. And basically, this series is about a boy named Ban Namahira, and it focuses on Bond. He's a teenager who becomes a part of a team of time traveling agents tasked with saving people's lives during uh, major historical events that happen across different eras and locations around the globe. So, like I said, this really caught my eye, not just because of the old school uh, character designs, but also because of all the animation studios that could uh, help bring this particular manga to life. Studio Bones is the studio that brought this uh, from the page to the screen. And I really thought that was interesting. Number one, because I've never seen them do anything with these kind of old school character models. And it just, it definitely shows because of their particular prowess when it comes to animation. Um, what really got me about this was it's a very straightforward story, but it, it's really deep in its simplicity. I mean, you have your main characters, you have Bond, who's basically a an average high, uh, middle school boy. Um, he's very, very average, he'll tell you himself. And, you know, he gets caught up in this adventure that he really wasn't looking for, but he has an amazing heart and he is just, he's courageous and he has a spirit that refuses to be denied. And I, I just, I really enjoyed that about a main character, especially a male main character in this day and age. He is accompanied by, uh, a seasoned time patrol agent named Reem Stream. Uh, she's a pretty cool girl. She's tough, you know, but she's not one of those girl boss characters. She's caring. She has compassion and empathy, but she's not basically a man in a in a female character model. And I appreciate that she's still able to embrace femininity. And there, the trio is rounded out by kind of their mascot character. He's like a little star jellyfish type deal. His name is Booyayon, and he's basically the comic relief, but he's, he's also a really welcome addition to this. Now, this series currently is about 12 episodes long. They run about 26 to 31 minutes in length. You could probably knock it out in a day, but it is a fun watch. Uh, my kids liked it. Uh, I liked it. My wife liked it. Now, what is interesting about this is even though this kind of has almost an Astro Boy style of character, uh, character model, these there is a good bit of violence and there is blood and things like that in it. So it is interesting in that way. But like I say, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward story. It's very fun to watch. It's easy to watch. There's not really a lot in the way of abstract uh, themes that, you know, that will take you basically to like an introspective mental state. So you can kind of just keep going. It's like I say, it's just super fun. 
And uh, I really appreciate Netflix for putting this out. Now, uh, I don't know if this is going to get a second season. I hope it does, but it doesn't have any of the qualities of a lot of modern day uh, entertainment. There's not really any wokeness of any sort yeah, in this. So you, and that's how you can really tell that it came from an era where that just wasn't a thing. So like I said, I really enjoyed this and I hope you will too. Shout out on the comment section. Tell us what you thought about it, if you liked it and if you didn't, or you know, if you gave it a shot. Uh, now this series is not super heavy in like fights and stuff, but it is uh, heavy on action and adventure and the sci-fi elements are really cool. Like if you liked games like Chrono Trigger or if you just like time travel in general, this is definitely for you. So again, shout out in the comment section. Tell me what you think about it and we'll see you on the next one. 8-Bit Heroes out, peace. If you'd like to give a shout out on the channel, then hit that like button, maybe share it with a couple of friends, and do us the biggest honor of all, and subscribe to the channel so you can join the 8-Bit Heroes family. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when our new videos come out.